Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the first impression and first I was like it has been a while and then I remember no it has not because I did first impression with the Ace Beauté Flare palette so today it's going to be a palette that I have had for some weeks haven't done anything with it yet and it's just my luck by Colourpop and this is the blue, the blue, the green palette that came out around St. Patrick's Day. So this is the box and uh, this is the palette. So it's one of their monochromatic nine pan palettes. And the palette looks like this. I have swatched a little bit before because I wasn't completely sure what I wanted to do. And I am... Sorry, it has been a lot of green looks. It feels like at least on my channel the latest, but hey, what you gonna do? So I think I know what I want to do with this and I want to try to do something that is not like super green. So I actually think that I have decided. I don't know how this will be because I have no idea. So I will zoom you in and we will get started with just my luck palette and see how my green, not so green look with a green palette will be. And of course we have an eating cat in the background and what do you think about this ring? I found it here at home and was like yeah maybe I should have a horseshoe ring uh, but it's so freaking big or the balls is so big. I don't really like it. Okay, enough about my ring. So, so I will start with a green color. Just my kiss my ass. So I will take this in my crease. Okay, and this was powdery. This fudge. So ColourPop, they do a lot of these nine pan monochromatic looks palettes I mean and I have the pink one ooh la la and then I have soul and more but they are not like monochromatic like these others are and I I hope that they will come out with like a orange or yellow one. I will buy that one, but I don't think I will buy any of the other ones. Like, I don't want the blue moon, I think, and not the main squeeze. And what is the purple? It's my pleasure. I don't want it either. But okay, back to the just my luck. I like this green. It's a little bit sheer, so you have to build it up, but I like when palettes have some shades that you have to build up, so you don't have to have like super green. If we just, if I only dip it once on this eye, we can compare. Like you see the difference. And I like that. I don't think that colors you have to build up is something bad. What is this for baby hair? I don't think that's only bad. I think that some people, some people, some palettes actually need to have some colors that you have to build up because you don't want like a super strong green all the time or a super strong brown or a super strong red or whatever. So I have nothing against it. I don't need all the greens to be super pigmented. And it's nothing wrong with this. It's easy to build. It's smooth. <laughs> it's smooth. So okay, and then I will take Charmed this brown on a small blending brush and put this on the grease. I really hope that this... I don't know why I take this brush all the time, because I don't like it that much. Okay. 
I will change the brush. I will take this one instead. Tap it off and then go into the crease. Okay, a little bit of struggle with this color. I don't know if it was the first brush. May have be. But it can be on top of the green. And I like how it like transform the green completely. This is like Hello, here is me in my green crease. And this is like Yo. This is me in my grungy crease. It doesn't lay perfect in here, but I think it's my eye and not the shadow. Okay, so I think I am satisfied like this. And then I want to take I want to take olive you. And put it on my outer corner and I really hope that this is pigmented do you see how good this is going on without like any glitter glue or anything and then if you have watched my zodiac series where I have used glitter shades they like don't even go on like this with like a glitter glue and this is just amazing. I, I don't know what's up with that palette. I don't know what Colourpop did. But I think that these nine pants seems like some of the best Colourpop shadows. And I took this so freaking high. I will go back in with Charmed. And one thing, one thing. One thing I was thinking about when I got this, I like to ask my boyfriend, do you know if these names is like drug names? But I think at least Mary Jane. This isn't supposed to be like a drug talking video. Okay, so for my inner eye, I think I will go in with Charmed again. And take it in here and see how it performs on a normal brush. It works good, I have to say. I was a little bit afraid that it was going to be too dark, but I don't think it is. And also, I go with the charmed a little bit over here. And then I take the Olive U shade or brush to take it over without any product. How do we feel about this? I think I feel good. I think I'm done with the lids like this and I want to do an inner corner highlight. And I think you know which color I want to use for that. I know that a lot of other people has done it but... I can't keep my hands from that shade. So I will take away the fallout, fix my base and my brows, then we do the under eyes, the inner corner, and then I will tell you some things about what I think about this palette, the things I haven't already said. So yeah, I will fix the face and then I will be back. So I am back and I have actually eaten some lunch. So for my under, I just want to fix one thing before. On my lids, this Charmed, I think it was, yeah. This Charmed, I think it disappeared a little bit underneath the olive view. So I will just go in with some more. Put it on top of olive view. So okay, for my under eyes, I think I will take the Charmed and olive view and first go in with Charm. And then I think I will put Olive You over. So I will take Charmed. Tape it off. And people that don't look like this. When they're putting on their lower lash. I don't get you. How smooth are you underneath your eyes? Okay, and I think I will take. And just put. All of you with the same brush, if it is possible. I don't know. Get out here a little. 
so something like that and for my inner corner I will of course go in with Mary Jane um, but I think I need another brush for that so I will try to not spray it because this all of you was amazing without spraying so I will try Mary Jane And I think I'll need to spray it. It's either that or the brush, maybe. Okay, so I think Mary Jane works without spraying, but I guess it would have been easier just to spray it because it sticks. But it's like not... I have to pack it on. That's nothing strange because I am dry here. No white balance I have no like eyeshadow primer in here or anything so okay something like that and I will take something in my waterline and I think I want to take something really bright and pop in put on mascara and some lippies and then I will come back and talk a little bit about my first impression of just my luck palette so I am back and for my waterline I took crossed from Colourpop and I really like it. I think it goes great together with the inner corner highlight and for lips I <laughs> took Hanging Rock. I ain't going to stop with green eyes and red lips because I love it and it was between this and Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star but I think this was the better choice. So my first impression of the Just My Luck palette from Colourpop I really like it. The colors I've used at least I have used this one, Kiss My Hass, Mary Jane, All of You, and Charmed. I really like them. I think this is my favorite monochromatic palette because it just... I just like it. Like, this is not that green in your face. Super green, it's not that green at all. And I like that, even though it is a monochromatic palette. But I think... I just like this look. I think it's grungy. I think it's cool. I love the inner corner. This Mary Jane, I think it was called. This one was amazing. Like this one with a black halo. Or black and then this is a halo. It should be amazing. And it's going to be so fun to play with this more. Colourpop has done a really good job with this nine pan palettes, I think. They are so good. The quality is absolutely there. Colourpop's a good quality. And it was such an easy palette to work with. I really, really like it. Only thing I don't that disturbs me a little bit. Maybe don't disturb me. But it's... What is this shimmer shade doing here? Here are all mattes, all shimmers, matte and shimmer. This should have been a matte, in my opinion. But yeah, this my first impression of this, it's really good. I really like this look. Yeah, I don't know what more to say. So yeah, if you want to see me play with this more, I guess I will. I'm thinking about doing a um, palette bingo with this and um, Ooh La La. If you want that, please let me know. That was all for my first impression with the Just My Luck palette. I really hope you liked it. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!